Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here. We are continuing our last topic that is a NAT. In our previous video, we have discussed about NAT. NAT is basically a method of translating one IP address to another IP address. And we have also discussed about public and private IP address, where the private IP address is the IP address range which we can use in our local area network or internal network to configure. And we do not have to pay anyone for that. But the global IP address is the unique uh, registered global IP address basically assigned by our local ISP server and we'll have to pay something for that. And uh, why we need uh, NATing? Because our private IP address cannot accessible through the remote network or through the internet. That's why we need some uh, public IP address to when we are working with the LAN and WAN environment. And in this session, we are going to discuss about dynamic net. We have applied our static net. There were three type of net we can configure in our right router. And the first one was static net, which was a method of translating private IP address to public IP address manually one by one. And that uh, public address will be fixed for a particular server or uh, for a particular uh, private IP address. But in this session, we are going to discuss about dynamic net, which is a method of translating multiple private IP address to a range of public IP address dynamically and that will define a pool uh, which will be the range of public IP address. So this uh, method dynamic net is also called pooled netting method and we are not going to configure one by one but we will assign a range of private IP address for the range of global IP address. So let us uh, see how to configure it. Uh, first of all verify if we have already uh, a configured NAT here as you can see here. So, IP NAT translation is the command to verify if there is any NAT is already there. Like as you can see here, uh, we have 11.9.0.3. We have discussed that uh, this one is like a local ISP router where we are getting IP of 11.9.0.0 slash 28 and this network will assign us 14 host and the first available IP address after using this interface and uh, serial 0 by 0 interface or interna internal router 1 and 2 we have IP range of 11.9.0.3 uh, to 11.9.0.14 so we have already used 3 4 and 5 11.9.0.3 11.9.0.4 .9 and 11.9.0.5 statically for the servers and whatever IP address is remaining now after 6 and 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and 14 we can use this IP address this is the public IP address we can use for these LAN computers so that entire network can forward internet request through this global IP address range. So, what we have to do here is first of all as we have already discussed about like uh, configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 which is this one and this interface is going to IP net inside network or inside interface and interface serial 0 by 0 will be IP net outside interface. So, as we have discussed like uh, dynamic net is a method of uh, translating multiple private IP address range to uh, multiple public IP address. So, what we have to do here is first we will have to configure a range of private IP address like uh, we can use access list 1 permit 192.168.10.0 as the entire network and the wildcard will be 0, .0 0.0.255 for the entire network computers. So, this address defines the entire network to permit standard access list you can create here and now I will configure the range of uh, global IP address. So, what command I will use here is IP net net pool and I am going to assign pool name as global global and the address will be 11.9.0. We have already used 3, 4, 5. So, I am going to start our pull from 6 and 
9.0.14 will be the last available IP address. So I am going to define net mask for this IP address and that will be 255.255.255.240 as we have slash 28. So what next we have to do here is we have already uh, configured our private IP address range. We have configured our public IP address range with the name global and now we will have to translate this access list number rule number one to global. So global is the range of entire global IP address we have remained in our hand and further we will see here like uh, I am going to translate IP net inside source list one. This is the access list number one which is containing 192.168.10.0 entire network and that will be translated to pool and the pool name is global because global pool is containing entire IP address global IP address we have remain. So what we have to do here is enter and as you can see here now if we verify so IP net translation as you can see here we have only the static net information right now because we haven't used dynamic net uh, right now. So what I have to do here is if I am trying to connect 192.168.0.1 which is the IP address of uh, uh, this router. So I am getting a reply from this router but uh, what happened here as you can see here now again if I am trying to see the translation now I am getting some more information here as you can see here like uh, inside local address that is 192.168.10.2 this computer sent an ICMP request using inside global address 11.9.0.6 we started our global IP address uh, translation from a 6 so the first address is used by this computer to forward the packet ICMP request to 192.168.0.1 and further 192.168.0.1 again for the outside local ad. Now next what we have to do here is now I am trying with another computer like ping 192.168.0.1. I am trying to access other computer using ping command and now I am getting some more information here like uh, address 3 that as you can see here 92.168.10.3 sent the request of ICMP through earlier we, we used uh, 192.168.10.2. IP address use this IP address 11.9.0.6 but now IP address 3 is using 11.9.0.6 what if we are trying to ping using both computer at the same time I am trying to access our internet using ping command and now if I verify as you can see when 192.168.10.2 were using 192.11.9.0.6 ICMP request the same time I tried with another computer with the IP address 192.168.10.3 and that used 11.9.0.7 so automatically IP address forwarded to another one so we are not going to define so when the multiple computers try to access your internet computers or uh, WAN computers uh, from your internal network your dynamic net will automatically assign free available uh, public address uh, to forward the IP packet so you are not going to define manually one by one but it will dynamically uh, translate every computers private IP address to public address at a time so friends here was your dynamic net uh, it's not a very tough job to configure and I hope you like this video if so please do subscribe with our channel and keep watching and sharing with your friends and till next video bye bye